Thousands of black bodies had been tossed in mass graves after fighting for freedom. It was only right that they honored the fallen. 10,000 people sang hymns and laid flowers. How did the black history of this holiday get erased? This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. Before there was Memorial Day as we know it now, there was a group of black Charlestonians who held the first celebration in honor of the black lives lost during the Civil War. As the war came to an end, black Union soldiers who had been captured and then left to die were tossed into mass graves at a race course converted into a Confederate prison. But a group of formerly enslaved black people dug up nearly 300 bodies determined to create proper burial sites for their people. Just three weeks after the defeat of the Confederate South, on May 1st, 1865, a group of 10,000 people, mainly the formerly enslaved, gathered in what would become the country's first official Memorial Day Parade. In honor of the martyrs of the race course, our ancestors laid flowers, sang hymns, black pastors delivered sermons, and they barbecued too. But this painful and damning truth isn't the version of Memorial Day that whites wanted. So they rewrote history. The inaugural black led celebration was practically erased from history by white Charlestonians who wanted a version of the holiday that didn't mention the truths of the Civil War. Despite the constant erasure of our history, we must continue to honor our ancestors by remembering the truth. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. If you enjoyed this episode and want to show your support, please rate and subscribe to our podcast. Together, let's honor and celebrate the legacy of Black history.